The Shadow Saga, Part 1, Origins Be me, in high school. 14 and have anger issues, teenangst.png Go to private school that only accepts high intelligence students, so no tards, winning.gif Be first year of high school, all students pre-twelfth get transferred to a new building. Be chilling in the halls with the boys, codenamed Lobster and Hawk. Having a conversation about how Mantis has been trying to hit up Stacy number 43 over the summer. Mantis is important, eventually. Suddenly, Hawk starts coughing violently. Starting to tend to him when it hits us. The fucking stench. Look to the entrance and witness the nightmare of Anons everywhere. A horde of 10 to 20 tards, ranging from mild autis to the worst downies imaginable, being marched down the halls by students. One student catches my eye immediately. Short, red hair, glasses, and the body of a fucking MILF. Why the fuck is my girlfriend, currently fiancé, helping the goddamn tards? She flashes an I love you hand signal at me. Managed to force one back while nearly vomiting from the smell of shit and piss and probably semen coming from the tards. She's also very important later. Retreat.jpg Find an empty storage closet to hide in. This will become our official hideout from now on. Immediately begin to plot on how to get rid of the tards. We devise a plan in case of tard violence. Now we wait. The Shadow Saga Part 2 Origins First half of the day is calm. At lunch, was skipping class with Lobster to get supplies for my little idea. The tards are sitting and talking with other students. One fat neckbeard tard, codenamed Jabba, was chilling with the Stacys. This fucker reaches over and begins groping the Stacy that Mantis was trying to fuck. Stacy pushes Jabba away. This triggers the first instance of a tard mob, in which all tards in a close distance would begin losing their shit. All hell breaks loose. Helpless people run from the tards, while Jabba tells them to fling shit, flip tables, and cause a riot. During the chaos, I slipped into a shitty old trench coat, leather gloves, and a ski mask. For you see readers, this building had no functioning cameras yet, so being caught changing was impossible. Begin to rush at the horde of tards. I'm 6'3 and muscular at the time, so I bulldoze three tards the second I make contact with them. All turn their attention towards me. Begin fucking up the tards' day, slowly making my way to Jabba. Teachers and wranglers, useless to stop my rampage, finally get to Jabba. He starts fucking rushing at me in an attempt to crush me. I sidestep and he flies into a wall. Grab him by the collar of his MLP shirt. Begin punching him with all my rage. No remorse.png. His face looks also abnormal when drenched in his own blood. Stuff a folded note into his shirt pocket. Throw him on the floor and run like a nignog stealing shoes. Retreat to storage closet. Change out of outfit and hide it in the removable panels that make up the ceiling. Return to lunchroom from normal entrance and gawk as teachers surround the unconscious tards and remove the note from his shirt. A teacher leaves with the note and makes an announcement over the speaker about catching the culprit. She then posted a photo of the note to the school's website in hopes of getting info. I feel autistic writing this, but whatever. Let this be a lesson to you autists, downies, aspies, and the like. Any and all acts of violence will have you punished in a most violent way. Let this tard speak of the lengths I am willing to go for my cause. Sincerely, The Shadow. If only the fuckers had listened. The Shadow Saga 2, Part 1, Retaliation. Be me, The Shadow. Three months since last chapter. Very little tard activity. Jabba was gone for a month, and he came back with heavy scarring and a few missing teeth. He's spooked as fuck now. He occasionally falls to the floor and screams about, They said you are gonna get me. His parents were pissed as fuck, threatening to sue the school. 
but the school apparently paid his hospital bills, so they mellowed out. The shadow is now feared by most kids at school. No one associates with the Tards in fear of having their faces ripped off or something. Teachers have stopped searching for the shadow at this point. Time to strike.mp4. Leave class to take a shit. Open bathroom door to erect bathroom and Tards losing their shit. This deserves some punishment. Immediately run to the storage closet, which was just around the corner. I suit up, quickly make another note, and head back to the bathroom. Rip and tear .png. Open the bathroom and tell in a shitty solid snake impression, I thought I warned you Tards not to do this shit. Tards immediately lose shit. Tard rushes at me. Go fucking rage mode and start wrecking Tard shit. Tards are thrown against walls, getting their guts obliterated by my knee, and having their faces slammed between stalls. Feel like the fucking Doom guy. One of the Tards was an Aspie, with the speed of a thousand Nignogs and the body of a stick bug. Let's call him Sanic. He's putting up a pretty good fight, even landing a few hits on me. Do an autistic Zenkai boost thong and go into a full Tard-like rage. If you do anything like this again, you had best be prepared for a world of pain, the likes of which has not been seen before. Sanic passes out and slumps to the floor with the rest of his kind. The Shadow Saga Part 2 Retaliation Continued Hear stirrings in the stalls, slam fists on the stalls. Little jock dude steps out, sees me, and starts begging for me not to beat him up. All of my what.jpg Explain how I won't harm innocent students. Thanks me, and says he'll cover for me. Drops the note on Sanic's head, and runs back to the closet to change. Changes, cleans up gloves, rushes back to class. Lemur to fat lesbian teacher and finish up the day. Go on a sick movie date with GF, codename Sunchan, and enjoy my weekend. The Shadow Saga Part 3, At Hell's Gate. Be me, the Shadow. Two weeks after the bathroom brawl, the Shadow is now something of an urban myth to help calm the fear of tards. GF not pleased with the Shadow's actions. GF starts a small club of people who want to figure out who the Shadow is. Join as a co-founder. EvilLaughter.jpg Be two months after the bathroom brawl. Silence from the Tards. This always happens before something bad. Suspicious.png Get an email from GF saying we've got to go to Tard HQ to warn them about how the Shadow is dangerous. Go along with it and start concocting a plan. Next day. Said I had to be out sick that day. Roll into school with shadow outfit and bolt for Tard HQ with a few special surprises. The second I get there, I start looking for unsupervised rooms of Tards. Growing angrier and angrier with every room. Hear door open behind me. Lunge and roll to a nearby storage closet. The closet is full of Tard snacks. Carrots, crackers, baby tomatoes. Pull out a few pills of melatonin and some powderized laxatives and start mixing it with the carrots and bottles of water. Somebody's poisoned the waterhole.mp4. Peek into the hall to see GF walking around with 8 out of 10 Latino Wrangler. Realize her tards must be unattended. Target acquired. The Shadow Saga Part 4. The Massacre at Fort Retard. Be me, the Shadow. Sneaking around Tard HQ, looking for an unsupervised Tard classroom. I hear distant sounds of war from behind one of the classroom doors. Throw that shit wide open. Thirty to forty of the worst smelling downies you'll ever meet are having a war using shit as projectiles. The once white walls are now a disgusting black slash brown color. Remember school staff only said there were fifteen or twenty of them. Get fucking pissed. I believe on that day, I tapped into a form of Tard Rage better suited for intelligent life forms. I rush the Tards and start what came to be called the Potato Peeling of XX. Gotta keep year hidden. One anorexic looking Tard, called Mini Tard, attempted to start punching me in the back with little effect. Grab the back of Mini Tard's head and start slamming it against the wall. Once Mini Tard is passed out, I use his limp body to bludgeon three more Tards. And after that, I throw the tard at a cluster of fat-ass tards, KOing them all at once. 
continue to fight for ages, relishing every punch and KO. After about 30 minutes, I've defeated every opponent in that room. Drop a note and head for the door. Exit room and see GF, Latino Wrangler, and the fucking principal at the end of the hallway. Run in the opposite direction. They make chase. They're fucking gaining on me. Gotta go fast.jpg. Find a window. Without thinking, I launch myself into the window, shattering it and leaving me in the parking lot. Take a second to process what I just did and start running again. Run all the way back home, change, hop on my Wii, play me some Super Smash Bros. Brawl. King Dedede is the best, and no one can change my mind. Get texts from Lobster, saying what the Shadow did and congratulating me on not getting caught. We meet up later at a burger joint to plan out the next raid on Tart HQ. No good ideas. Agree not to try something that risky ever again. Head home and study like a good boy, and end my day like any other. The Shadow Saga Part 5. Identified? Be me. Normal, everyday high schooler. JK, be the Shadow. Day after the potato peeling of XX. Mantis approaches me and pulls me aside. He explains that he's figured out that I'm the Shadow, and he wants to help by being the Shadow when I can't be. We have a similar build and height, so he could definitely pass as the Shadow. Give him the okay and tell him the moral code he must abide by in order to be the Shadow. Go through day normally. Be two months after potato peeling. Be studying in library with GF. Hear kids yelling in the hall. They're all pointing at the bathroom and yelling about how they just saw the shadow. Suddenly, Mantis rushes from the bathroom and bolts down the stairs. He's way faster than me, so I know he won't get caught. He's managed to wreck three neckbeard tards. Not bad, Doc Giff. Congratulate and go on with day. The Shadow Saga Part 6 The Beginning of the End Be me, the Shadow. The day after Mantis covered for me and gave me an alibi. We're all called into the gym for an assembly. Libtard Principal goes on and on about how her sweet little angels are being menaced by this terrorist. My face when I'm a terrorist now. Principal explains that she has removed all victims of my rampages from the integration program due to legal concerns literally giving the shadow what he wants. At the end of the announcement, she introduces a new tard to the school. Good. Fucking. God. 6'8", built like the Hulk, horribly deformed, not uncommon, followed by five wranglers. Bastards should be kept in chains like King Kong. I start to worry. This Bane-looking motherfucker could beat the shit out of me easily. Later that day, Mantis shows up at my door, looking like a war veteran. He explains how the Tard, classified as Hyper Gigatard by my peers, beat the shit out of him when he was doing his run as the Shadow. Vow to destroy this rival Alpha, no matter the cost. The Shadow Saga Part 7 The Final Boss and the End Be me, the Shadow. Three weeks before summer. Have had multiple smaller Tard scuffles, but nothing super interesting. Thirteen more Tards have left due to the Shadow Rampages. Continue to help GF find the Shadow. Teachers support what we're doing, no one suspects a thing. Hyper Gigatard is oddly quiet, likes keeping to himself, never really gets upset. He doesn't even smell that bad. What the fuck, .exe? Been training at the gym extra hard, in preparation for my inevitable fight with HGT. Look like a Chad now. It's time, boys. Friday before exams, it happens. I don't know what happened, but it happened. HGT loses his shit. Starts rampaging in the halls like a movie monster. Change into the shadow. Have a belt for protection. Confront HGT. He starts lumbering towards me. He wasn't very fast. Rush at him and slam into him with the full force of my body. He falls with the force of both the Twin Towers. Kids are now crowding around us. Get on top of him. Start pummeling his face. He snaps out of his daze, grabs me, and tosses me off of him. He's in pretty bad shape already, so I start preparing the belt. Keep my distance and take a defensive stance. HGT reaches out to grab me. Whip him in the arm with the metal side of the belt. He starts to bleed. He screams in pain, creating an opening for attack. Get behind him and start strangling him with the belt. 
get him against a wall, buckle the belt as tightly as I could around his neck and force him to the ground. Continuously curb stomp him until he passes out. Remove belt and run for dear life. Teachers are chasing me now. Get the fuck out of there and hide in the forest. Find a specific bush with a change of clothes and a plastic bag. Change. Put outfit in bag to retrieve later. Sneak back into school and slip in a crowd looking at HGT being hauled off in an ambulance. TARD integration is cancelled due to multiple violent incidents involving TARDs. Finish exams. Go home for the summer. Hide outfit in a locked box in my mother's attic. It's still in that box to this very day. The end.